Hmm. Hey everyone, it was my mom's birthday today, Minnie, my second mom, and I celebrate Frances, my biological mom, on the 17th of March, and Minnie's birthday on the 19th of March. So two mom's birthdays, and the same month, with glory to God, with my family. We didn't have home church today, since I spent time with my mom earlier, but the Lord is touching my heart before I go to bed to make time for him. I still pray to the Lord when I woke up today. But but right now I want to read my Bible. Me and Slime the Frog, my friend, my dream friend. Going to dedicate this time to God before we see a scary movie, huh? Put God first. Yep. Okay. I wanted to find a Bible scripture. That you could use for a birthday. You know, to thank the Lord for giving you another time to see. And Jesus Christ put it in my spirit when I was searching on my phone on Google. Check out Proverbs. The book of Proverbs. Ninth, the ninth chapter. Starting with verse 10. It says. Let me put the camera down here. If you can see it, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. For by me, referring to God, for by me, thy days shall be multiplied and the years of thy life shall be increased. If thou be wise, thou shall be wise for thyself. But if thy scornest, S-C-O- R N E S T. I have the King James Version. If thou scornest, thou alone shall hear it. So what the Lord's trying to say is, um, if you fear God, you know, that means like try to do the things he wants you to do. You love him, you honor him. We need to obey him. It's it's hard sometimes because we want to do things on our own, right? To do things our way. Let's be honest. Most of us is, is like that. But we need to slow down and be like, wait a minute. God needs to be first. He knows best, not me. All he is asking is for me to spend time with him. And do those things in his Bible. You know, to make him proud. And if I do that, he's going to give me a long life. Many years to live. If I try to follow his, his teachings... I can't do it in the flesh. I might have good intentions to want to do whatever Jesus says, but but let's be honest. Let's be real. I struggle with that. I don't know about y'all, so I need to pray and be like, Lord, help me with your Holy Spirit to give me the power, the patience. Um, help me not to be lazy. Help me not to be selfish or anything. Um, help me, God, to just appreciate you more. Take you more seriously, Lord. I do want you to be happy. Despite what I want, you know, it's more important what you have planned for me and for others. If you says, do not do this in your Bible, I need to take that seriously. And if you say to do this or that, I need to take that seriously. Right, Slime the Frog? Mm -hmm. How you feel about it? Whisper in my ear. You you agree? Cool. Okay. Thank you. Praise the Lord. So hope y'all people will keep that in your minds. Also, when it says fear the Lord, He don't mean for you to be scared of Him, where you don't want Him in your life or nothing like that. No, no, no. But to honor Him, you know, to to like, but still have a great respect for God to be like wow he made this whole universe he made this planet earth he made the people and the creatures everything so if he could do all that and he made me he, and God made the devil he made good and evil so if everything is in his hands shouldn't I try to listen to him more and try to do what he says you know um because if I do it my way I'm gonna fail Sooner or later. If I do it his way, it'll be perfect. If I learn from the Bible and be wise. 
not foolish, not to do those things that no God don't like, even if I don't mean to, but um, really need to examine myself. I know other people do too. Be like, wait a minute. I say I love God and stuff, but am I really doing what he says? Ask yourself that. When no one sees me and I'm all alone, am I real? Am I true? Or am I fake and I'm phony? Just be real. Ask yourself that, folks. Anyone can say they're a Christian and they follow the Lord or they're born again, blah, blah, blah. But can you live it? We can't do it by ourselves. We need God. We all make mistakes. <laughs> so if you want to have lone life, like God gave my mom many, I won't say how old she is, but she don't look her age. <laughs> she looks very well. And I, and my other mom, Frances, did too. They're both for senior citizens. They're both for senior citizens. <laughs> But they don't look their age. They look very young. Both of them. And both of their birthdays is in March. Slime, I don't know how old you are. <laughs> Only God knows. But thank you, Lord. Hope whoever's watching this will be touched. Take this in their mind. That, hey, I could have long years. I could live a long life. I could live a prosperous life. To be well. Have money and food and other stuff. If I just put God first. Try to do what he tells me to do. And if I mess up. If I sin. Get right with him right away. Very important. Because if you live your life however you want. And you don't care. How God feels about it. That's dangerous. Not, not cool. Not telling you what to do. That's up to you. But for me. I want things to be okay with the Lord and and admit my faults when I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. And that's God to help me. Right, Sly? Y'all have a good night. God bless you.